types of messages in SAP app app. So what are the types of messages? Like uh, if you save a program, okay, it gives you a kind of a you know status here. So if I go for AC38, so here the status message will come. Z If I say display, so if I activate this, this is a status message. Okay, this is a status message, positive message. And if I if I have something like create, it says it gives a status message only. But there will be error message also. Error message is something which we says it you cannot go further because of this error. So you'll get, you'll normally get it whenever we do a, a some logical error is there. So these are the types of messages. So we will see what are all the different types of messages and how we can make use of them. So first one is the status message that we have seen just now. S. We write it as S. Then we have informatory message. I. Error message. E, warning message W and uh, abort message A and uh, exit message X. So these are the six types of messages that we have in the types of messages. So in this, like we'll go ahead with, uh, we'll go ahead with each of the, each and every every one of them. We'll check all of them. So we can populate these type of messages, but the text or the information that you want to show, okay, text or information that you want to show, show information that you want to show, that will be there in a message class. We need to create a message class, and this message class we can create in SE91 transaction. Message class will be creating a message. So there you can have up to text. Uh, I mean, like uh, 001 messages 001 to uh, 99000 to 9999. So you will get 1000 messages. So 1000 messages will be uh, populated. 1000 messages can be maintained in each message class. So the message class name should start with Z. Z and then it, it can be anything else, so ZMSG or something like that. So I'll go for ZDXC underscore MSG1. Okay, so what you need to create is you need to create a message class with Z followed by a three employee code and three last three three digits of your employee code underscore MSG1 is what you can create. Okay, so now here uh, we'll go ahead with this triple zero to triple nine. Is what we are actually uh, creating. We can create the text. So if you write a text here, for let's say for example we are at 0001, we'll write a text at something like color is red. Then the color is red will be the message, but the type of message will be from the letter that we write here. So how do we write in the program? Is we write it like this message. Say S001 means it takes a text from the message class. The 001, what should be typed, will be taken from the message class. But this S represents the type of message. So there can be only six letters that we can write here. We can write S, I, E, W, A, X. That's it. 
these are the messages that we have. Okay, so these are the messages that we have. Now, uh, let's go ahead and write a simple program to understand the messages. Okay, so this is the program, but before writing the logic, we'll go to SC91 transaction and first create a message class. We'll go for ZDXG underscore MSG1. Message class. Messages. I'll write. Color is unknown. Color is red. Color is white. Color is green. Color is brown. Color is yellow. Black. ZTX underscore MSG one. So it right here message id z dx underscore msg1 to cross check you can just uh, double click on this and it will take you there if it doesn't take you there then it means that it's wrong so we can just message hyphen id and we have to write this and we'll write something like parameters p underscore c that is color so we'll go for at line selection i uh, know at selection screen and uh, so we'll go for if or we can say yeah case we can write case p underscore c end case when r message uh, s001 when w message i002 means the text will come from there but the type of message we can see it from here okay so first let's let's see how r will uh, how s will uh, s will be seen how that message will populate it so when i say execute if i say r and execute so this is a status message which comes down in green color color is red is what we can see the message which we are getting that the text we are getting it from the message class but the type of message we are getting from this s then i i means warning warning message so white if you enter white w execute so color is white is getting populated here in the pop-up okay. when g message say e003 When others so the 
this is exit message when b message a zero zero four no w w w warning messages zero zero four when y message warning message about message a zero zero five okay so we'll see all these type of messages how they get populated see this is a success message or status message we don't call it a success we call it a status message it will not stop you from going further okay in the program so this uh, you know uh, i also will not stop you from going further status message and informatory message will not stop you to go further in the program but error error message will stop you abruptly you cannot go further in the program anymore and warning message sometimes it allows sometimes it doesn't allow depends on the scenario a about will never allow you to go further x also will never allow you to go further this x type x is extremely important for background jobs okay for background jobs this is extremely important okay so for background jobs what happens is uh, in this status message in this exit message will actually populate a message that you can go ahead and see in a student to transaction even if you are not online so i'll explain you about that okay so we'll activate this program and execute so our status message you have seen that what w you know informatory message you have seen that and g this is error message it will stop you to go further it's it's something like you know error so error message and then we have warning message warning message will come in yellow sometimes it allows you to go further sometimes it doesn't depends on the scenario then we have why this is about message in about message you will have only one option okay exit okay so color is yellow so exit so now it's like say if you say um, if you say exit if you say exit it exits that's it there's no other option that is about message in about message you don't have any other option except to exit that's about message about message so warning messages or error message and exit message exit message is something where it will get populated let's say i give something like m m color is not there at all we didn't maintain anything about m so when you click execute it will go into dump this is called short dump so this short dump uh, messages we generally place them in a programs especially the programs which we are going to run in the background what happens is we don't know if they if it's run in the background we don't know whether it is successful or not successful so immediately it if if we if we place a error message which uh, if the should uh, if the system should not uh, go i mean like it's something is unexpected it should go to that system that that particular uh, message so for that we'll do that right? so we'll go ahead with slash o st22 when you type st22 uh, if you open the st22 then you will have these error messages in this you can go to the error message that we have populated now and we can see and evaluate the message what exactly is this all about So in the program, you can see exactly where the problem happened. So this 19th line is what we have, we have that issue. So we can clearly see what exactly is a problem and uh, uh, how it uh, how it can be resolved. So resolution also we can have a conclusion for that.
okay so these are the different types of messages in which the most important message that we have is the egg uh, the exit message because that's something which will not show you i mean like it will show you there but even if you have come out of this come out of that screen it will still show you the message here in the uh, in the back end in the st22 transaction